Yes. All right. So welcome everyone to the Community of Practice by Giving Tuesday Africa Hub. Today we will be talking about basic presentation and design skills. But for now, let me run you through a few housekeeping rules. First, we encourage everyone to mute their mics when they are not speaking. Uh, use the chat function to communicate as much as possible. If you have any technical difficulties, just raise your hand. Um, feel free to use um, the reaction buttons down here um, anytime. And um, just let us know if you need help at any point. We encourage you all to stay for the entire duration of the session. Um, chat in the comment section as much as you can. Your feedback, your suggestions, we, we really would love to hear from you definitely got it what what you think about this session and this session will be recorded and available for us all so even if you leave before we are done um, this session will be available for you to watch and um, for you to revisit anytime but I'm going to do all I can to ensure that we are done before 4 p.m today my time that should be 3 p.m gmt okay so um for those of us that are French speaking, please click um, on the interpretation button, select French, and um, you will instantly hear the French translator, translator speak. Um, also, if you are having difficulties doing this, please let us know and we'll be happy to help you. I'm going to leave this on the screen for a few moments so that the French speakers can also see it and you know, be able to use the interpretation feature on this platform. Okay, moving on. We all know the purpose of this work group, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to skip all of this. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to every one of us sharing your workbooks with us. Uh, remember, we need all of your workbooks completed so we can, you know, be able to give you your certification at the end of this community of practice series or season. So moving into today's presentation proper, um, here I say that design is the silent ambassador of your message. So we all have something to say. We have a story to tell. How do we communicate the story? Um, people respond to what they see a lot, and that is what we've noticed. That's why we see the advent of videos and um, presentations today. Uh, we see what's happening with TikTok. We see what's happening with Instagram Reels. And how can we leverage that, you know, for to our own benefits, for our own causes, to give voice to what we do and that is what we will be talking about today one of the things I really want to do is really make it simple because I know that a lot of us are doing a lot of work and um, I'm not a designer to be honest um, I don't see myself as a designer but platforms like Canva has, has really made it easy for us to be able to share our messaging with anyone at any time using the amazing platform so i am your speaker or your facilitator for today you all know that i work with um give it to the africa hub as a communications manager and i mean if you need any help with your designs after this workshop please feel free to reach out to me we have the option of you scheduling an appointment so you can you know connect with me and we can work together to help you with your designs or presentations so this i'm giving you for free but you know, use it all the time. How do we use Canva for our Giving Tuesday campaigns? So our objectives today is to help everyone understand design principles, how to use Canva, how to establish your brand identity, how to design campaign materials or templates, how to design your presentations, uh, um, and also how you can use your designs in your campaigns. We are hoping that at the end of this session, you have some knowledge or understanding of Canva. Um, you are able to create a consistent brand identity and you are able to enhance your campaigns through design. The importance of this session, as fun as this session might look and as simple as I'm gonna try to make it look, um, it is actually very important because we've talked about events, we've talked about storytelling. For you to re-effectively communicate 
any activity that you might be doing, uh, be it a storytelling campaign or an event, you actually need to be able to design or you need good designs, right, to effectively communicate what you're doing. You want to capture the attention of your audience, of your target audience. You want to tell your stories in a powerful way and you want to really present it and ensure that like what you're doing, you get results from it. What we look at for sometimes when we post videos is the number of views, the engagement, the reactions, how many people are sharing this, how many people are saving this. Do people really, do they understand what we are trying to put out there? Is the messaging right? Is it correct? Is it simple? Is it easy to understand? This, All of these things, all of these considerations, they come in your design. So let me speak on brand identity. And while I'm speaking on some of these things, I might we might actually take a look at some pages. And I mean, we can start with the Giving Tuesday profile, okay? And um, like I said, this is going to be a very interactive platform or session. And I would love every one of us to, at some point in time, if you feel the need to speak, just let us know and you can share your thoughts. So my first question now to everyone is, what do you notice about the Giving Tuesday page? in terms of brand identity, even before I speak or I talk about brand identity, what can you see? Anyone at all, or I pick someone to speak. No one. <laughs> um. Okay, so I'm going through the list of people around, okay. Given to this back Nigeria, I believe that's Usain. Usain, what can you see? Okay. Uh, hello. Uh, basically, I Hi. think first thing to catch your eyes is the brown color. Okay. It's been consistent with each of the templates. Yeah, I could actually see that. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You are right actually that's the first thing you would notice you would notice our color schemes you would notice the kind of colors that the type of color rather that we're using and you would see it across board uh definitely sometimes you, you'd notice we've reposted one or two things that aren't necessarily in our brand colors but overall you can tell that this is our brand color and then when you come across our page you know this is giving to the africa right? You can see it on our logo. You can see it on our highlights. You can see it in our first three posts, on our pin post, on our reels even. So um, brand identity is like, this is who I am and this is how I want to be seen. So it's a collection of your colors, your logos, and your fonts. And it's important that we are consistent in, you know, when we are putting out designs or um for external facing communication including your document for example um, it helps with structure it helps with understanding and it helps with aesthetics um, you want to maintain a particular structure or a feel how do you want people to feel it's important because even colors can speak to feeling right so this helps and it creates a foundation for the designer's work. It helps you save time, to be honest. It helps you create templates. You have those templates and all you need to do is fixing the information you need and you're done. You don't have to design from the scratch again because you have your brand guidelines and you have your templates that would help. So there are some elements you might want to consider in your brand identity. One is your color scheme. What colors are you known for? I'm going to pick another um, giving to the count actually that will be given to the nigeria okay so if you look at giving to the nigeria you would also see let's pick this for example you can see the logo first and first you are seeing this you are seeing the colors you are seeing that this is an event flyer right and you know giving to the nigeria is telling people to register which <laughs> how to use Canva for your campaigns. I mean, what a coincidence. So let's keep going, let's keep going. Whose design is this? <laughs> this is definitely not a give it to the Nigeria design. Um, but yes, I don't know if we are getting the picture I'm trying to paint here. I'm going to click on another page. This is given to the India. Okay, so this is given to the India. 
And here you can also see the India Hub identity, right? From their colors to their logos, even down right to how if the, the placement of their of their post, you can see everything here. Okay. So um I hope this helps with trying to define what brand identity means. And I hope that some of us can go back home and maybe create what are your colors? Let's start with your colors. Let's start with your logos, right? These two things, mm, very important. Um, I mean, before we even start talking about typography, I mean, that can be further down the line. But color scheme, your logos, these are two important things that people will definitely know you for that makes you stand out. Um, can someone give us an example of an organization that we can check out? Um, someone doesn't have sound. Peace, can you confirm? Can anyone confirm that they can hear me first? And then, Peace, I would love you to confirm if you can hear me. Can anyone hear me? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so um, someone cannot hear peace and, and the Association of Human and Development. He cannot hear you, I believe. So maybe you'd have to log out and log in, but I'm hoping. Okay, so let's hope. All right, moving on. I, I, I mentioned something earlier. I mentioned that someone should give us an example of an organization that we can use that we feel has a strong brand identity. And you can see straight away when you go through their pages. Anyone at all? Does any organization come to mind that you really love? And I mean their message, their post, their campaigns, they speak to you, you love the work that they do. Someone okay, in the chat says Lagos chat. Food okay, Bank. Cool. All right, so let's look at Lagos Food Bank. Actually, yes, I agree with you. So this is Lagos Food Bank. They tackle malnutrition. I mean, they're quite popular in Nigeria, to be honest. And yes, I think I love Lagos Food Bank for for the for how powerful their visuals are. You know, their pictures, and they make they make what they do look fun. They make especially volunteering, right? When they're carrying out their campaigns, you see their volunteers having fun while you know doing what they do why spreading love and generosity and then it makes people wonder what this community is about what lagos food bank is about and you hear people say how can i be a part of this how can i be a part of this movement how can i join this that is what lagos food bank is for and i mean pictures the moments they capture chef's kiss so um for like Kevin, this is an amazing example thank you so much for sharing moving on from brand identity Campaign collaterals. Um, these are your banners, your email headers, your landing pages, your social media graphics. So take, for example, Giving Tuesday Africa Hub. So let's go back to Giving Tuesday Africa Hub. And if at any point in time you're not hearing me, please let me know. So I'm going back to our profile. We've established the fact that our colors are all around. This is our brand identity, brand identity and our logos. So I'm going to, let's say, I want to look at Giving Tuesday's website. So I'm going to go to our Substack page. And can, can anyone tell me what you you'd see or what you can notice on this page um this time around um rama how are you doing 
I don't know if you've joined us from the beginning, but if you have, please tell us what you can notice. What are the similarities between this page and the Giving to the Africa Hub Instagram page? Hi, Rama. Please confirm you can hear me. Hi, hi. hi everyone. Hi. Hey. Good evening. Do you hear me well? <laughs> yes, I can. Okay. Um, so the similarities between this page and the social media, the Instagram page of um, Giving to Say Africa, I think at first it's the colors and the graphics. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Rama. The colors and the graphic. So now that speaks to consistency. So if you come across the hub's work across any platform, if we go to Twitter right now or LinkedIn or Facebook or Threads or TikTok even or YouTube, you will see this feel, this exact set of color schemes. Uh, we go as far as the type of font that we want to see as well right it just helps with consistency it helps as well because when people are saying that okay this story so let's take the story for example melodies with mission where we spotlighted giving tuesday um, malawi right they had this medical quest against mental health stigma you will see this exact story on ig with its own flyer while we maintained our design brand identity as well um I'd mentioned how this helps with structure. It helps with aesthetics. But all of these things boil down to the creation of your collaterals. For Instagram, we had to create an Instagram poster, right? Or an Instagram design, which has its own aspect visual or sizing. For the page that you just saw, we created email banners, right? We use the templates and sort of tweaked it to our own brand identity, how we wanted it to look like. So our social media graphic, our landing pages, our banners, our roll-up banners, they have that same feel. So one of the things I would love each of us to take into consideration when we are putting out our content or when we are communicating what we are doing, the amazing work that we do is consistency. And honestly, it saves you time. If there's a template on Canva, if you have created an Instagram design right now, for example, you can always resize that design to an email banner. You don't have to redesign an email banner, right? Or you can resize that design to an A4 document, making it a PDF document. And there you have that same brand color in different formats, in different collaterals. Please let me know if you can still hear me and let me know if at, at any point you need me to re-explain what we're trying to do. So what are the principles of a good design? I'm not a designer, but there are some things that everyone looks out for. So even if you are not a designer and you see a terrible design, we will all agree that this design, no, mm -mm. it doesn't, it's not appealing to your eyes and you will not even waste time moving or scrolling away from that post so number one thing is visually appealing but for me i would say stick to being simple let your design be simple you don't have to i mean just make it really simple and appealing clean easy to understand easy to understand once i glance it once i look at it once it comes on my feed i know what you're talking about that is good design right and a clear call to action what do you want people to do? Register, sign up. What else? What else? What other CTAs can we think of? Um, learn more, apply now. The apply now CTA is one of the most effective CTAs I've ever seen. And it usually comes with grants, applications, scholarships. So yeah, even with emails, for example, the subject of your emails, what, what works for you when you send out newsletters? What gets you, you know, the deliverability you want to see and people clicking on your email once it gets to their inbox looking forward to seeing that in the chat section so i promised you all that this is a very quick workshop because we are about to design right away i want us to design one thing and so we are 11 i think we are less than 11 to be honest 
I want each of us to design, not each of us, I would say let's group ourselves. So I'm going to stop sharing for just a minute and see what we can do. A moment. Design automatically. Cool. So I'm going to assign everyone into two breakout rooms. Design one design, an event one event okay choose on canva what that design will be just pick a template you don't have the design from scratch now for those of us that don't know what canva is this is canva canva is free canva is easy to use anyone can use canva and you can just pick a template you can type event right here and you will see thousands of templates in different size Okay, so I want us to go to Canva, select an event template, change it, tweak it to align with the vibe you want your event to be, fixing your date, your time, the purpose, your colors. I don't know, in your group, you can decide whose colors you want to use, but I'd love to see I would love to see this principle happening. It's visually appealing. It's simple. It's clear. It's easy to understand. And there's a good, there's a CTA, there's a call to action on your designs. These are the things I want to see. So I'm splitting every one of us into two groups. Let's make this happen. Let's come back here in 10 minutes. Okay. And the winner gets something. Mm -hmm.